Since the start of uh, 2015, I've been creating uh, one digital artwork every single day. Um, it started with um, the, the main three teams that I'm kind of making are uh, patterns, animations, and um, uh, as well, uh, kind of shapes that are similar as patterns. And the main theme that I'm uh, using is using uh, geometric shapes to make interesting compositions. Um, I kind of uh, use different drawing software and coding software, but over the years, my main focus became using code to create these things. Last year in 2018, I only used uh, processing to make my uh, daily artworks. So that's kind of my main sketching tool. So how I see uh, doing this daily is kind of uh, about playing with rules uh, and the rules uh, that are rules that I create. Uh, nobody tells me what kind of rules I need to use, but they give me some kind of uh, um, structure to play within. Um, so the rules can be about something I use. It can be about, oh, I'm kind of focusing on using 3D shapes or 2D shapes. It can be about colors. It can be about which program I'm using. So all these rules kind of change over time in what I want to do. Um, some rules always are there. There's one rule that I do this daily, uh, and that gives me kind of something, um, uh, a, a good rule to create stuff. Um, but as well, these daily artworks don't have to be uh, a new, different kind of thing uh, than the previous day. I really like exploring making iterations on the same rules that I'm using. So here you can see three of the similar um, uh, things I made uh, three days in a row and kind of looking what I can change just a little bit to make something different. And even with this small play in iteration, you kind of explore different things. Uh, last year, I focused on uh, doing monthly teams. So I had kind of a month, kind of a structure, a certain set of rules that I would explore in what can I make in this set of rules. Um, one thing it helps to kind of focus because you kind of uh, are, you know what you are doing, um, but as well as it's a challenge to think about something new and try something new every day. Uh, this year I'm kind of uh, going to weekly themes, so I have a little bit more freedom to switch uh, in different kind of things that I want to explore. Um, so with these rules that can be as well kind of challenges, if I want to start exploring something new, if I'm getting bored, I want a certain challenge. Uh, here you can see uh, a month with, I did last year, I think in October, and only using Unicode characters to uh, make these patterns. Uh, and that's something to kind of get out of my comfort zone as well, to think about how I can come up with new things to uh, also enjoy myself in creating these things. Um, it's a great tool to kind of learn every day a little bit. And sometimes I'm, I'm kind of scared to start something new and it has to be good enough. Uh, but I think uh, in 2017, I already had like long idea, oh, I need to start using 3D shapes. I need to do something, but I didn't have time to really explore how I am gonna use it. Uh, so I just started with looking up what kind of shape, uh, what 3D shape it is. And these are the first three 3D kind of animations um, that aren't that pretty yet. Uh, but in a few days, you kind of learn a little bit more. You learn a bit about lighting and you kind of find ways to, to make it better. So sometimes you don't need to know everything to just start something. Um, and in, in this learning and in this play, uh, sometimes it's really nice, but there are also really uneasy moments and uncomfortable moments when you try something new and it doesn't work and you're kind of trying to figure it out. And it can be about programming or a kind of structure you want to do, or even color, uh, trying to come up with different colors to use. Um, so in this play, it's also really important to kind of find these moments of um, uh, uncomfortable situations to kind of let yourself grow in, in um, uh, exploring uh, and, and 
also it's a way to come to new ideas. Uh, and when you kind of find a nice thing, you want to explore more and then you have time to play with it and try a lot of things. Um, and what I said with iterations, it's really interesting to, um, to, to focus on structures and see what you can make more of it. And in that way, with playing around, you come as well to new ideas um, you want to create. So doing this daily and uh, in the start, it wasn't really easy. It was really hard to kind of start and really force myself to create something and especially to upload it uh, on internet to see, uh, to let everyone see. But now it has become like a really nice flow and something um, I can go uh, to, to just um, play around. And what I said earlier, these are my own rules. So it's my own thing where I, can explore in and nobody tells me what to do. So it's kind of my little time to play. Um, and I think every day you kind of find inspiration and uh, from all different kind of things. Uh, and it's a nice way to use that inspiration to create something that day. And it can be inspiration such as color, um, uh, but well, uh, previous work could be really interesting to look at what you made before, how can I use that, uh, and also uh, uh, kind of combine things you, you use from yourself. Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's also kind of a relaxed way, it's kind of escape the day. Uh, I mostly do it in the evening um, or just uh, at the end of a work day, uh, and it just gives me this break to kind of be free in what I want to explore, to create something, uh, and, and yeah, nobody tells me what to do, so it's kind of a relaxed way to explore. Uh, and as well, I think uh, the animations can be as well really meditative to look at. Um, so I think um, it's really important to, to kind of force yourself in the beginning to play and, and to create something. Um, and um, I had written something good, but I don't know. It. Um, so I, I think if you, if you find as well uncomfortable situations in, in this play, uh, you, have, you have space to kind of grow and it doesn't have to be perfect every day. Uh, it's, it's about learning and creating kind of space for yourself to, to uh, have, have it as a creative outlet uh, and learn uh, something new. Uh, thank you. <laughs>